Hello and welcome to Haunted Halls, Green Hills Sanitarium. This is the scary game that I am playing for the month of October. In this video, we are going to go through chapter number five. The Moon Probe! Dr. Blackmore is trying to probe the moon! And we need an access card. The item from this hidden object screen is the bat, and you can use the bat to get inside the graveyard. Right over here. So we have a spaceman with an access card, and we have two more areas here in the graveyard. We have this thing, which needs a key. And in case you've forgotten, we have this puzzle for James Patrick. Good, good, gold, uh, whatever his name was. James Patrick. James Patrick, gold Patrick. Use the access card here. And I think we have another hidden objects challenge. The item we have here is soap. We have two rooms, but the room on the right is locked. We need to solve puzzles here to unlock that room. So, for example, we use the soap here to get the key. Then we use the key on whatever that is to get a glass cutter. And we can use the glass cutter here on the glass to push the button. And that opens the door in this room, right? Cool, so what are we doing here in this room? We have a number seven, which is for a puzzle. And I think we have another hidden objects challenge. The item here is the valve. And now I'm going right back to this room. The valve can go here, which gives us a puzzle. Do you see this thing in the center here, which is moving? What you want to do is draw a circle around this thing. If it touches one of the outside tiles of the board, like it did just there, you need to restart the puzzle. Okay, let's try to move it up and left here. Because then I can trap it there. Yeah, yeah. This is working. This is working. The location of the black tiles is randomly determined, so it changes every time you uh, do this challenge. Let's go with the left here, and then right there. And let's cut it off here. Cut it off here. Good, good. So just keep going around until you have this thing in a circle. It's trapped, and it's going to drop something. A wooden amulet, a wooden amulet. And you know this phone right here that keeps ringing? You can't pick up the phone, it's just there. It's, it's a phone, that's all. Okay, so two puzzles. Uh, let me see, 1952 through 2007. 1952 through 2007. Remember that, but first, go over here, open the furnace, and throw the amulet inside. This gives you a key. Use the crowbar to pick up the key. Not sure how that works. You think the key would have been burned or something? But I guess the fire wasn't hot enough. Anyway, the key, the key is over here. It gives you medical chart number 10. Meanwhile, seven is here. James, Patrick, good man, Rick. Good man, Rick. So we want to spell out the date. That was 19... 52 through 2007. Hmm, I'm having a hard time getting the pieces into place. Okay. I figured it out. Okay, one and two. 19. Uh, I need a five on the bottom, though. So let's get the five here. 
Or wait, I need to zero on the bottom, don't I? Okay. 1952 through 2007, but everything's all messed up. Okay, okay. 1952 through 2007. Maybe I mixed up the two zeros. Uh, I'm guessing that's it. There we go. Yeah, no. Wait. Almost. Yes. 1957. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have medical chart number two after that horrendously horrifying challenge. So if I had to complain about this game, it's the hint button. Notice the hint button has completely depleted. You know why it's depleted? It's because I solved that puzzle, which is weird. Anyway, number 10, this person. This person is tormented by fears of atomic war after his horrifying experiences in the army. Use the crowbar here to get some dynamite. Then use the dynamite here and it will explode. Well, would you look at that? It's not a war zone out there. Nothing and nobody is dead of radiation poisoning. This, this is wonderful. And he gives us a bullet. Okay. So he just goes off, wanders off into the distance. See you later, John. Bye, John. Bye. And before we can solve the puzzles in this room, it's hidden objects time. And our item here is going to be glasses. The man's glasses. Hidden objects challenge. Our object here is a flask. And we have another hidden objects challenge, right? Perhaps we do not. We grab some uh, lemons here. We put the flask here. And we're gonna make lemonade! Lemonade! Frightening Halloween lemonade! Alrighty, so we give the man glasses. We use the lemonade here. He has random notes, good. But we need a keyboard, we need a keyboard, so hidden objects challenge. Ah, here's the keyboard right over here. So can I just back away and not solve the challenge? You know, like, not find all of the other items? I guess you have to find all of the items. Anyway, we have the keyboard for the man, so let's give him his keyboard. And what is this man's psychosis? Nothing, really. Wait, James Patrick Gold Patrick? Wasn't he the dead guy? Hmm, okay, whatever. Well, his psychosis is that he works a lot, and so we're going to help him work even more. I confess, I built this terrible fear device for Blackmore. I couldn't stop him when he began to misuse it, because I fell into my own trap. This device was supposed to cure people of their fears, not enhance them! And now Blackwell, in whatever form he is, feeds off this fear energy. His name is Blackmore, not Blackwell. Oh, wow. HORRIFYING TYPOS IN THIS GAME! Tim is his main life source. His fear for your safety is greater than all the other fears combined. To save him, you must save all the other patients first. But it seems you already knew that, so uh, good luck defeating Blackmore. No, seriously, Blackmore is the name of the bad guy. That's the third game in the series, Haunted Halls, Revenge of Dr. Blackmore. So, we are going to finally free our friend Tim. 
All we have to do is use the tokens on Tim. So the bullet goes over here. And the pen is XYZ. Tim is free! Yay! What happened to his shoes? Hey, Tim. Aren't you gonna say something, Tim? Oh, he's saying something. My dear, you, you saved me. You, you, long ago, I'd given up hope. You can't imagine what it's like to feel the suffering and fear of those poor people. It's worse than death. Thank goodness you could save them when I couldn't. Guess I underestimated your courage and resourcefulness. But there's still Blackmore to deal with. See, I told you, his name is Blackmore, not Blackwell. Please, wait for me here. You've done enough for one day. So Tim goes off to the secret room. He waves goodbye, and Tim goes to fight the evil Dr. Blackmore.